Hi guys, just doing a quick video review on the Leaper canvas leather shoulder bag uh, briefcase um, satchel thing. First of all, a thank you to Fifth Season for kindly sending me out this sample so that I could do the review for you guys. As always, I've got no affiliation to the company. So, first of all, um, I'll give you a good look around the bag. So, I've got the grey, um, as you can see here. So, on the front, you've got two buckles here. Um, and the straps actually slot in like that and then you've got the little threaded hole that you pop into um, it does have the little poppers as well so if you don't want to go to the faff of threading it through you don't have to do that on the back oh just lost it oh there we go ah right so i didn't actually realize that these pop off as well so, if you didn't even want to actually um, use these, these do pop off, um, which is great. So, I think I've got it the wrong way. Aha. Right, so, if I thread this on, leave it like that. Oh, that's clever. Right, so, bear with me while I quickly just put this on. So, Right, so that's how it looks. And you've got the poppers here, and you've got poppers here. So actually, it's got two sets of poppers. So you've got the poppers there, and poppers there. Right, back to the review. Um, on the side here, you've just got the leather little um, patch here. Um, the bottom is canvas. Back side, just got a zip. And fairly deep zip. You probably get an A5 notebook in there. And then that's your handle. And you can see on the handle you've got some nice metal uh, or bronze brass detail in fact um, with the leather as well and then you've got the leather right here as well um so first impressions pretty good i've been using it for the last week so i commute to work and i've just had books in here files folders my lunchbox and it's, it's done all right you also get with it the strap um the strap is nice and thick so hopefully you can see there nice and thick strap so that's the bottom of it and that's the top so you can see again nice attention to detail they've color coordinated the gray and the brown together and then again you that's your adjustment piece there so you can adjust it all um that's your hook again it's a really strong and sturdy hook so you can see push down there that's your hook goes in uh really strong so hopefully it should be able to take a fair bit of weight and then to the bag itself, right, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do this for you guys, but, so, I'm going to try and show you. Right, so in the bag, that's the first bit that you see, and that, here we go, is two pen pockets, and then you've got a pocket there for probably a calculator, a phone, something like that, and then you've got a big section here, so this will probably fit like an A5 ring binder folder, really easily I've had one in here this week and then the middle section right this is very awkward um, so the middle section you've got another zip here so you can see there so your notebook or oh, sorry your laptop um, any valuables anything like that you can stick in there and then you've got another big section which is your A4 pocket section and then after that you've got another really small what I would consider you put your change and stuff in as well so you probably put your change in there and that's a little zippable pocket and then finally on the back you've got that zipper pocket as well so that zipper pocket i would probably have my mobile phone my keys my wallet in there um just because it's on the outside but it's going to be on my side so when i need it um it's just easy access but then it's closest to me so it's nice and safe as well um overall impressions really good um i think it's great product stitching stuff i always try and pick out the stitching because you know these things are going to get used be used battered you can carry all of the important stuff in there and you know what i think it it ticks all the boxes for me again it is real leather and you can tell so if i scratch it you can see all of the marks so try and abuse my product so you don't have to um, but you can see it is really good quality leather as well uh, it's a nice rustic finish, it should sort of um, weather well and sort of 
build up a bit of character and stuff as you sort of use and abuse it. So on to the ratings. I'm going to give this a, I think I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. Um, I can't see any faults with it. It's got loads of pockets in there. So in total, just for summary, you've got one on the outside, zipper pocket. You've got a small, let's call it your purse wallet. Uh, purse wallet, purse pocket in there as well for your change and stuff. You've got an internal uh, larger wallet, uh, larger wallet again. Uh, you've got an internal larger pocket, I should say, and that will fit. I'll measure this up for you guys, but I'm confident enough to say it will fit a 13 inch MacBook. It won't, I can pretty much tell actually. I measure it up against my Mac here. So my Mac's a 15 inch, definitely not going to fit a 15 inch. You get a 13 inch MacBook in there, no problem. And then you've got your secondary main compartment there um, for your A4 ring binder. So in total, you've got one, two non-zippable pockets, and then you've got two, three, three zippable pockets as well. And yeah, so that's the end of my review. Thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.